I wanted to sit down again after finishing the second Fallout episode um, and just say that it is another banger, in my opinion. I feel like it is awesome. The Fallout show through the first two episodes are absolute bangers, and I just want to talk about it in this video. So, my experience with this second episode, I feel like the start was a bit slower, in my opinion. I do like the kind of way they took the Enclave scientist, you know, with the dog. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know what kind of, like... And I'm going to point out so far, I mean, this is going to be spoilery, right? So I'm recapping and I'm giving my thoughts on the episode. So, you know, like if I've already spoiled you enough, you can click off. That's okay. But for the Enclave Scientist at the start with the dog CX404, I'm pretty sure if I can remember correctly, that was the name of the dog. I thought that was really cute. Honestly, I had the Enclave Scientist taking care of the dog. I don't know why. Like I thought it was dog meat for a second or like Rex from Vault in Vegas. I don't know why I was, but I know it's a different dog now. But I thought it was really adorable that this Enclave scientist, like, they're studying on dogs. At the very start, it shows them, like, throwing, you know, like, little pups into an incinerator. And I was saying to my brother, too, it was a really funny joke. And I'm like, you think Bethesda and Amazon are going to cook again? And then as we saw that scene, he said, oh, yeah, no, they're literally cooking. And I, we were both laughing, like, holy shit. Because we thought it was, like, baby mole rats or something. But no, they were little baby pups. We were scarred a little bit. Um, but it was really cute how the Enclave scientist kind of took CX in and was like, you know, you'll be my pet. I'm guessing just because, you know, I wanted a dog. I don't know the reason. Maybe he just wanted a dog. Because then, like, later on, he's hiding it behind a wall. And then another scientist comes in and then it turns into a whole shit show, right? You know, the Enclave scientist has to leave because CX ripped the guy's fucking neck apart. Or, you know, whatever he ripped apart. There was blood everywhere. And the dog was like, did I do good? And me and my brother were like, yeah, that dog did fucking good. But then he escapes, and then it leads back to Lucy, right? He's walking around, and then also back to Maximus. And it's really cool, too, because Maximus is with Titus now, right? The knight. And I have to say, Titus is the biggest little pussy I think I've ever seen in any TV show. I don't know how someone in power armor could be such a little bitch. So I'm going to lay this out for you, okay? They're finding a cave... Maximus realizes that the Enclave scientist was there, right? He sees dog tracks, he sees, you know, like the target that they're looking for. So... He sees, the, he sees the tracks and everything, and then they start roaming around. But then, you know, the Titus sends Maximus in, you know, go check the cave, see if anyone's in there. So Maximus is walking in, you know, he's looking around, Titus is right behind him. And he's like, see anything? And he's like being really, really rude, surprisingly. Like, I don't know what it is with the Brotherhood of Steel in the Amazon show, but they are completely different from Fallout 4 and Fallout 3. Like, Fallout 3, they're really nice. They're very, you know, helpful to people. Fallout 4, like, they're not as nice. But they'll still help people, right? They still do it for the greater good. They're after technology. Titus was just an asshole. I completely thought he was going to be a way more major character in the show. Definitely was not. So, there was a Yaogwai in the cave. And the Yaogwai was right behind Titus. And he's like, oh, fuck. We thought it was funny. Because it's like, oh, yeah. No, Titus is going to beat this guy's ass. He starts punching the Yaogwai. And then the Yaogwai, you know, hits him back. And then Titus, in the power armor, decides to run out of the cave. Like... You're in power armor. What are you doing? And then he's running so much that he trips and slams his head against the rock. I verbally laughed. Because what are you doing? Like, I verbally laughed. Like, so much. That you are in power armor. And you ran from that. And you leave Maximus in there. And then, you know, he's getting fucking... Like, Titus is getting fucking mauled by the Yagoi. You know, he's getting chained around. He's getting yeeted around. And he's yelling for Maximus to help him. And Maximus finally shoots him. I honestly thought the Yagoi was going to take more shots. He shot the Yagoi in the head. But I guess it's because of me thinking, like, oh, you know, Fallout 4 and Fallout 3. You know, it takes more than one bullet to kill something. But I was really surprised, actually, when Maximus just killed him with a 10mm. Like, two shots to the head. And then Titus is like... You know, help me, help me. You know, you did a fucking horrible job. You're an awful, you know, squire. You know what they do to squires that don't do their fucking job? And he's, like, threatening him. And then he's asking for a stim pack. And you know, Maximus is going through his little, like, remembrance of what the, how the Brotherhood helped him, right? You know, he was stuck. You know, he was scared. And this Brotherhood knight was saving him. And then he's realizing, this guy's a fucking asshole, right? And he's, like, he's telling him that you don't deserve to wear that armor. You know, you're not, like, you don't embody a Brotherhood knight. Like actual brotherhood knight should be and i thought that was really cool on another character development for maximus because he's seeing that look even as a child you saw the brotherhood was like a very strong very helpful force when you get into the actual brotherhood of steel i mean especially in this california and los angeles uh group of them they're assholes like they're blatant assholes i have never seen such an asshole out of a brotherhood of steel member i i've had issues with like brotherhood of steel members in games like reese from fallout 4 pissed me off a lot but he wasn't that much of an asshole like titus was just a dick and it was so messed up 
and when he's begging for a stem pack, he's like, you know, please give me a stem pack. Maximus just fucking sat there and I guess watched him die. He's like, you don't deserve to wear that armor. And he took the armor, which was awesome. And then goes on to this little tangent. I loved this scene where Maximus is just dicking around with the power armor. He's like running, he's breaking shit. I thought it was so cool. That he was just running around and just breaking shit. Like, he was throwing bricks. He kicks a rock or a brick at a house. And it all started crumbling down. <laughs> Me and my brother, we were laughing. We were like, oh shit. And then we heard screams in the show. And we were like, holy shit, who did he just crush? But no, he goes around the corner to the front of the house. Or to the front of the little, like, barracks they got there. And there's these two guys fighting, right? And this guy's about to choke this other guy out. Maximus grabs the aggressor by the hair and lets the other guy go. Turns out the guy he just let go was fucking the guy's chickens. And it was really funny he's like for science and i thought this guy's fucking chickens isn't he and then like a minute later he's like why'd you let him go and he's like you know it's like what were you doing that for and he's like well he was fucking my chickens i'm, I'm just thinking like holy shit and then my brother noticed that the guy who was fucking the chickens ran off with one as maximus was uh worrying about the first guy which i thought was really funny and uh, we go back to lucy you know she's looking for her dad still she's going through the desert she finally founds philly actually spelt like f-i-l-l-y because they don't you know they don't use ph anymore which i think is pretty funny so she finds philly she finds this town it's kind of like a diamond city-esque town with like a good neighbor kind of like outside to it you know it's like a storefront like just a long line with a bunch of stores on the side and then like the actual middle part where the actual city is which i think is really cool she meets the storekeep asks her you know do you have location or like you know she finds vault tech equipment she finds a pip boy she sees bobbleheads she's like you know these are property of vault tech she's explaining to this girl you know like you know we're trying to save america and then the girl's telling her like you know they it was all for the rich right vault tech only built those vaults so the rich and powerful could you know hide from the bombs while we all suffered and you know lucy's like oh you know she, she has that thought in her head now so as a vault dweller who thinks that she's all righteous you know like I mean, you're getting fucking told off that, like, look, vault is not good people. And I thought that was really cool, too, because Lucy's expression is, like, Ella something? I don't remember her last name. Ella? Great actress. Like, she went off, honestly. What With, with what she's doing here, she's, like, some perfection act, acting. And it kind of leads on to her talking about it, talking with this lady, and then she gets kicked out. And then my fucking boy, Walton Goggins, the ghoul, just fucking chilling there. The music, the music that he has, like, the, I, I can't reenact it. But if you watch the Prime Show, you know what I'm talking about. The music that he has every time it, like, shows him, some of the most, like, Western badass shit I think I've seen in my entire life. It was so funny and it was so cool. And I thought it was really unique for the character. So he's chilling. He's waiting, right? So Lucy leaves. Walton shows up, but as Lucy's coming out, the Enclave scientist also shows up. And this is now reminding me of another situation where, this is, I completely forgot about this, Lucy was going to bed, and then she wakes up to CX-404 and the Enclave scientist beside her, you know, he's telling her, um, you know, you're a vault dweller, you know, I know you, like, and he starts talking to her, like, he knows the vault that she was in, Vault 33, like, he was telling her about the vault, he knows exactly what happened in that vault, so... I don't know if, like, he just knew the experiment of the vault that was going on in there, if they had, like, a certain, you know, like, democratic, uh, not democratic, but, like, yeah, kind of, like, democratic government going on, where they all make decisions, there is still an overseer, but they also have, like, their assembly, right, or they're connected to another vault, right, let's see what happens when two vaults are connected, will they be nice, will they trade, like, I'm guessing that's the kind of experiment they wanted to keep going with that, so I thought that was pretty cool, but then, you know, they part ways, and then they meet again in the town. And I thought it was cool, too, because I'm like, what the fuck are the chances you're both going to this town? But the shopkeep was actually being paid to protect the Enclave scientist. And as he's about to walk in, fucking Walton Goggins stands up, starts talking, and just fucking blows the Enclave scientist's foots off. He shot his foot off, and I thought that was pretty funny, because I'm thinking, I'm like, he's gonna bleed out. He didn't, but it was pretty cool. And then the entire town, like, the shopkeep's like, a thousand caps, you know, to the person who kills this fucker, unless I do it. So, I mean, like... Like, you know, shit's going down. Fucking Walton Goggins starts gunning people down with his gun. Just holes in bodies. People are flying. Like, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. The amount of death that I watched and the amount of fallout kind of, like, just shit I watched. And I thought it was really cool. And then, like, as he's turning around, this guy has a hole in his neck, right? He was shot in the neck. You know, he's, like, trying to breathe. He's trying to live. Goggins literally is walking up to him because he's, like, hiding behind a stand. And, like, he's getting shot in the back, which I reminded me, like, do, are they, like, bulletproof, kind of? Like, I know they can get hurt, but, like, I don't remember them being, like, bulletproof, unless I'm just completely wrong about that, because ghouls can die. They're not immortal. 
But I guess he's kind of realized, you know, or maybe he had body armor on. But I thought it was cool that he sat beside the guy that has a fucking hole in his neck. And he's like, you want a cherry tomato? Because he, he was like taking tomatoes and just eating them. And I mean, my brother said, um, imagine dying right there. And all you see is just some fucking ghoul, like eating cherry tomatoes beside you. And I was laughing. Like that was such an entertaining um, part of the show. Like it's something with me and my brother too. I mean, it might be completely different for other people. But with me and my brother, we're both massive Fallout fans, right? So we're going to like talk. We're going to give our thoughts. And it's, it was really funny. So, you know, he's gunning them all down. And then Lucy and the shopkeep take the Uncliff scientist inside. His leg gone, so she gets a thing of Jim's limbs. And I want to point this out now. The amount of posters and the amount of, like, Easter eggs that are in the show, in that store specifically, like the one cat that went to space. Like, I, I saw that poster, I paused, and I, like, lost it. I'm like, oh my god, look, it's the cat in space poster. My brother loved it as well. So he takes him in the back, gets a Jim limb. Jim's limbs and like gets this like leg thing that cuts off like the end of your leg and then like you know kind of attaches to it and then you could put like a foot on it which I thought was cool but I mean like you know it's hard for him to walk so then Lucy is entrusted to take this enclave scientist to the lady who kidnapped her dad because that was the person who wants the enclave scientist and like I mean that's just like a whole kind of coming back around circle but as she's being told that, or right before, fucking Maximus over here with his jetpack lands down and starts fighting Walton Goggins. Like, I thought that was so cool. And I mean, like, they were at it, right? I mean, he told him to stand down. Goggins started firing at him. He's fucking yeeting Goggins around. In the end, Walton did win. I mean, I was really surprised when the ghoul won the fight because, I mean, you know, Maximus, I guess, was kind of getting cocky too. Like, he saved Lucy from being shot, and it was pretty cool that you know maximus was there and i liked how maximus uh, lucy kept smiling at him like that's like and she asked the shopkeepers like is that a knight and i'm thinking like well she doesn't know what that is but like yeah that is like a brotherhood knight right i mean i guess that would be classified she would be right in that situation but i thought it was really cool so then like goggins and maximus are fighting like to the death like they're going at it right i mean like one scene um fucking maximus launched goggins into some stairs and he climbs up and he's like oh i can't come up here with your ton thing they keep fighting and then it ends up um i completely forgot how it was maximus is fucking around with them and then he gets stuck he gets his foot stuck and then walton is starts fucking with him and then he cuts uh one of the pipes like one of the air tubes or like a power tube or whatever on his helmet so then all his systems start frying right his systems are wobbly he starts wobbling around his fusion core is fucking up like everything so and then, like, Walton's just fucking with him, of course. And then, I don't know what Maximus was doing, but he tried to fly off. And he did. But, like, he was fucking sp- <laughs> Like, he was flying. <laughs> like, it was so funny. Like, he was just whirling around in the air, screaming. Walton, as the fucking kind of cowboy that he is, grabs, like, this uh, tow truck hitch, throws it at him, and then it attaches to him. And then he starts flying even further. He actually, like, drilled off into the middle of nowhere. And he slams down into the sand, which I thought was so fucking funny. I was laughing my ass off. Like, literally, I don't know what Maximus' plan was there. I thought he could just get out of the armor. I mean, he probably would have died. But, like, what is your plan to start flying away? He was flying. Like, he was all over the place. He was hitting shit. It was so funny. And it's, like, something like that, too, because you'll be very serious, and then you'll have wacky shit like that, right? Where the Maximus is just getting fucking thrown around, which I thought was really funny. And then it ends up with him just slamming into the dirt, and that's about it. He's alive, but he slammed into the dirt, which I thought was funny. And I'm thinking, like, if he can slam into that dirt, how did Titus hit a rock and he's, like, unconscious? Like, what a little bitch. But then it comes back to Lucy, and... Oh my god, I completely forgot about this, too, actually. The dog, uh, earlier, um, Goggins got in a little altercation with the dog stab cx 404 but don't worry because goggins found him after still whimpering and stem packed him and i was really surprised too because cx 404 is like okay with the ghoul now after just getting attacked and stabbed by him but i mean i thought that was all right you know so now he's a badass ghoul like can take bullets has a badass gun he's got a cool accent and a hat and then he's got a fucking dog like no one's stopping this absolute machine of a man and I thought that was awesome. But then it ends up to being uh, Lucy, right? Lucy's taking the Enclave Scientist. She's walking, she's walking, she's walking. And then the Enclave Scientist is like, we stop here. And then he starts explaining to her, you know, I can't keep going. I'm done. And Lucy's like, no, we'll carry you. And he's like, no, you can carry my head. And she's like, what? And he's like, oh, no, don't worry. It'll be painless. And it turns out he fucking took a cyanide pill like a while back that vault made. And he called it the most humane thing that vault ever made. And I thought that was pretty funny. Like, it's a suicide pill. And that was the most humane thing they made. 
And I thought that was funny. But then he's telling her, like, you know, this implant in my neck, you know, you just got to get my head there. And um, he hands her a saw. And at, she has to cut off his head. And they're going through, like, this little spiel. And it's like, you know, you need my head. You need some bargaining chip to get your dad back. And I thought that was pretty cool. But sawing off his head, like, that was, I mean, <laughs> fuck's sake. Like, that was cool. So it ends off with Lucy sawing off his head. So that is about it for that episode. I really enjoyed that episode. The only criticism I'd have of it is that I think the start was a little bit slow. Like, just a little bit slower compared to the first one. But I still did very much enjoy this episode. This episode is cooking just like the first episode was. Like, I mean, two episodes already, in my opinion, they keep cooking. And I can't wait to watch more tonight hopefully as of recording this video i'll have more videos up over the weekend i'm super excited to just keep fucking watching this show because it is an amazing show but if you did enjoy this video let me know down in the comments below if you agree with me if you disagree with me me reviewing the first episode did not get me people agreeing with me which i was actually surprised by because i'm really enjoying it it's okay if you don't enjoy it like, I mean, if you don't enjoy the show, you don't enjoy the show. That is completely fair. But if you did enjoy the video, and if you have watched the Fallout show, you know, let me know down in the comments below. You know, leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe if you so choose to. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, guys.